What's up you data friends, it's Yanis here and welcome to my channel. Now lately I've been releasing a lot of LLM videos and one of my subscribers actually asked me what are some of the business applications of all these LLM apps you're creating. So I created this short PDF just to show you three of the main LLM applications, business applications that every data scientist should know. Right. Jumping on the first one is that every data scientist should know how to point their LLMs into text. Now, in a lot of business scenarios, the raw data that comes in the business is actually text data, so PDF data. And a lot of the times, the business has to understand that data. However, the business doesn't actually have time to go over those PDFs because they can be anywhere from 20 pages all the way to a thousand pages. So they need a way to easily summarize all that text data very quickly. So over here, I'm going to show you an example of an app we have created in one of our videos that the business can very quickly select a PDF file like this and then click summarize the text and this is going to summarize the PDF which is actually very long uh, let me show you the PDF this is all the PDF is actually 20 pages long and very quickly you can grab a summary of this PDF now another application if I show this to you is that the business is able to quickly get answers from that PDF so a lot of the times we ask questions like what is the sentiment of this PDF? So if I ask the uh, question, as you can see, what is the sentiment of this text in two sentences? You can see that the sentiment of this PDF is bullish, so it's actually very positive. Now, another possible question that the business is always asking when it comes to this PDF is things like the date of this PDF or who wrote this PDF. So very quickly, you can automate all these things with LLMs. So you can actually automate uh, when was this uh, PDF uh, published and then ask the question. So you can see it very quickly gives you the date. So you can automate this and store it in an SQL database or maybe things like who wrote this uh, PDF. You can see you get all the authors down here. Luna, come this way. So you're actually in the video. So stay over here. There we go. Right, so before LLMs, all this data extraction process was actually very manual. So businesses used to pay someone to actually go through the text and then find all that data and then put it in the database. However, this is the application I was talking about. You can actually automate this now, the data extraction, and then it becomes very seamless using LLMs. So down here, I have a lot of examples where I create apps using these LLMs for PDF text extraction for PDF summarization and also asking questions on these PDFs. Right, moving on, the next application that every data scientist should know is how to point your LLMs to your SQL data and analyze the data. The reason behind this is because most of the business don't know how to query SQL data. Luna, no. And because they don't know how to write code, it's easier for them to use natural language, so actually type in the question in order to get the data from the SQL tables. So things like what was the sales summary last week, or compare different categories, or how much product we sold this week versus last week, and all these comparisons. So I'm gonna show you an example now. Over here, uh, I have a question. I'm gonna go into an app we created in one of the videos. And this question is saying, give me a product report in terms of sales, and then we can ask our LLM. Now, if you're a data analyst or a data scientist, you probably know how to go in SQL and get that data. However, because the business doesn't know how to code, it's easier for them to do this. There you go, we got our data. So as you can see, it's very easy for non-technical users now to get reports. This is a sales report with all the products based on the filters selected 
and we are getting the total sales, the sold quantity, the total profit, and we also get a summary down here. So this is actually extremely helpful for the non-technical people to very quickly query your SQL data. Right, coming back here, uh, over here I have two links to two examples that I explain how you can actually point your LLM into your SQL tables and how you can build these apps so the business can query and question your SQL data. Right, moving on, the last LLM application that every data scientist should know is how to point your LLMs to Excel data. And this is going to give the business with the ability to analyze large Excel files quickly and efficiently. So they can very quickly get the highlighted points from the Excel, or they can compare the revenue over different periods, or they can retrieve specific transactions. So they can basically feed that Excel to the LLM and question it however they want to do it. And just to show some examples, I'm going to ask an LLM to summarize an Excel file. So over here we have the app ready. So I'm just saying write a summary of this data and this LLM is actually pointing to an Excel file. There you go, we have our answer. As you can see, it's giving us the key metrics, it's giving us cancellation insights, reservation details, customer demographics, additional details. So it's actually very time consuming for even an analyst to go through the Excel and gather all these insights. However, by building this Streamlit app or any app that uses an LLM, you can very quickly summarize and also question all the data you have in Excel. Right, going back here, I'm gonna have a link up with how to build that up soon. So when that finishes, I'm actually gonna add it in the link in the video description. Right, so in summary, these are three of the main applications that I think every data scientist should know how to create. The first one is to point your LLM to text. The second one is to point your LLM to SQL. And the third one is to point your LLM to Excel. These are all going to replace day-to-day -day tasks that you're probably running as ad hocs or as main reports. Right, so I hope you liked this video and you found value in this video. If you feel like you did, then please click that like button, subscribe to my channel and enable notifications for my future videos. If you have any questions, then please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video.